Hi, this is Heather Smith here and today I just want to show you a quick trick that I just learnt about inserting placeholders. So I'll run through it rather than explain it. So let's see if you can follow it with me. Here I am in accounts, sales, invoice area and I'm going to create a new repeating invoice. So this invoice will repeat over a period of time. Um, I'm going to have it for the first, uh, every month it's going to repeat and to prove to you what's happening here, I'm going to start back um, first, in fact I'm actually even going to go all the way back to 16 so you really see what's happening here and I don't, I don't, I'm not too fussed about anything else there. I'm going to invoice, who am I going to invoice? Awesome Business and I'm going to sell Awesome Businesses some services. I'll click here and I go services for the and see here's the placeholder I'm going to click on placeholder and I'm going to select month so what would happen is it would be services for the month and the month would be January but look what I'm going to do here click I'm going to put a space in there or oh, actually I'll drop back and I'll put a comma remember whatever appears there will appear when it comes through space insert placeholder month so I've put another month in there but I'm gonna go plus one drop over here comma and I'm gonna do this again month clicking in here plus two so what I should have here is services for the month of, in fact I'll type in here, month of January, February and March. So I'll fill this out and what I'm going to do is save it as an approved repeating invoice and then what we'll do is we'll go in and check it. So I'll click save here. Oh I could actually, before I do that, is preview the placeholders and it says services for the month of April, May, June which in fact I'm entering it as of April and today's April's date so it's actually not picking up the invoice date up there so I'm going to close that and I'm going to uh, save it and we'll go back and check on it and now we're going to go back and check on it clicking on awaiting payment Here's Awesome Business. So let's go and find our January one. Awesome Business. So you can see here it says services for the month of January, February and March. And that's excellent. It's a way to um, automatically get more information into that description area, which hopefully in turn means you get paid faster. Thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe to the video, please like the video and please share with someone who you think might find this useful.